The Leak Site is a fabulous archaeological site that dates to almost 2,000 years ago. It was occupied by a culture that we know very little about. The only information we really have about it is from the archaeological excavations and studies that have been done there in the past. Recently, over the last 10 years, we have discovered that this particular archaeological site and the people who live there had an important role to play in the events that were happening in the eastern United States across the entire part of from the Ohio River Valley, southern Indiana, northern Mississippi, the Gulf Coast, the Atlantic Coast, and all through the southeastern United States. People from the leak site traveled to these places. People from other places traveled to the leak site. It is located at a very important location in the southeast. People who are coming from north to south must go through a corridor, a natural corridor through the mountains of North Georgia to get to the south. We recognize this in the trade materials that have ended up at the leak site, but there's also some corollaries to this. When DeSoto came through the region in the 1540s, he took the same path. It's the way you get from north to south. When Sherman came through Georgia in 1864, he took the same path. Travelers from the north today take that same route on Interstate 75 going south. We think that the leak site is what we have called a gateway site. It is an area that has access to travel for one thing. It also has access to lots of raw materials. This area around Cartersville, Georgia is rich in minerals, a variety of minerals. These minerals were very important to the people in the middle woodland time period across the eastern United States. We suspect that the chiefs and the ruling people at the leak site controlled access to this material and were able to control access through the area. Again, we know very little about them. We know nothing about their language. We really don't know what they call themselves. Uh, they did not, of course, call the site the leak site. It is named after the owner that was on the property in the 1800s. Uh, it served as a large village where ritual activities took place and everyday living activities took place. Well, archaeology is really the only way we can discover about these people. Uh, they left no written record. They left no oral tradition, which is very unfortunate. The only way that we can discover who they were and what they did is by looking at the artifacts and the archaeological features that we find in the soil. Very limited amount of information, but it can tell us an awful lot about a culture. Today the leak site is a mix of undeveloped cotton fields and unfortunately development. Industrial development, buildings on top of much of it. The highway back in the 1940s was put directly across one of the Indian mounds. Today if you visit the leak site you might not know that you were on such an important place. Plans are underway now through the Department of Transportation and the University of West Georgia to put a walking trail across those undeveloped portions of the leak site. This trail will be connected to other trails in the Cartersville, Georgia area so that hikers and bicyclists can visit the site, visit interpretive kiosks, and learn about what happened at the leak site, who lived there, 